Hello, I am the clothing doctor. I spent most of my life when I wasn't out partying, teaching people the basics of clothing care, washing, bleaching, and stain removal. As a student myself, I also took graduate courses in the fine arts. How to keep white threads white, how to keep black things black, and how to remove beer spills. I even won a national stain removal contest. When I was in college back in the Stone Age, my laundry and towels would sit in the washer for hours while I hung out in my dorm room. My fellow dance would empty the washing machine and move my wet clothing onto the top of another machine or onto the bloody floor. Lucky for you, Matt Gray had the brains and the good sense to use texting and emails to tell you when your laundry is done. Now, I only have a few minutes to teach you 30 years of clothing care, so pay close attention or you may fail this class. Let's start with the basics. Empty your pockets of all gum, pens, and lipstick. Water-based stains like coffee, wine, beer, ketchup, and blood usually have a distinct ring around the perimeter of the stain, so you need detergent and water to remove them. Oil-based stains like butter, mayo, olive oil, and french fry grease have no line around the perimeter of the stain, so oil stains usually look flat and blotchy, absorbed into the fabric, like fresh melted popcorn that spilled onto your jeans. So, water-based stains have an outline, and oil-based stains have no outline. Got it? Now, if you try to remove olive oil like you would a beer spill or any other water-based stain, it probably won't come out. So if you have a shirt or a blouse with a blotchy stain, think about having it dry clean, even if you mistakenly washed it. Wet the stained area with some warm water and let it sit long enough to soften the stain and become absorbed into the fabric. <sighs> I've got things to do and people to see, but I guess I can wait five minutes to see if this works. Now, if the stain starts to dissolve with just water, but does not go away, then apply your favorite stain remover and allow it to sit on the stain for a few minutes. If the stain starts to bleed or spread, that's a good thing. If the stain is really dissolving, then add another few drops and gently brush the stain with your roommate's toothbrush until it stops improving. To improve your chances of removing stains and soil, throw a Tide stain release tab into the washer with every load of clothing. Every student faces moments of indecision at some point, do I drop this class? Should I change my major? Do I go out and party tonight? In this case, it's do I air dry or do I tumble dry? Bottom line, if a garment has a stain that does not improve even after two pretreatments, then always air dry because the heat of the dryer can set stains. To make sure that stained clothing does not get dried, put these garments into a mesh net or an old pillowcase to keep them apart from the rest of your clothing. You can also use these mesh nets for socks, lace undies, and other tiny stuff that sticks to other clothing or goes missing. Bleaching and whitening are a big part of clothing care. It's almost like cheating. If that stubborn stain did not come out after the first washing, but it did get better, then it's time to use color safe bleach. This is not chlorine bleach, so it's safe on colors. Remember, most minor stains and discolorations can be improved by soaking in color safe bleach for 30 to 60 minutes. Fill the sink or bucket with five inches of water and add a color safe bleach to let the stain soak. Then drain, rinse, and rewash. It should get much better. Lastly, before I say goodbye, as your clothing doctor, do yourself and your sweet mom a favor and wash your sheets at least once a semester. Take care and safe washing and remember to visit Campus Clothesline when you need advice.